Hey guys, we are here at Agape Lash Studio. I am here with the owner, Carla Garcia. She started this. This was kind of, we were talking about a love um, embarker for you. Like you had to go upon it and just do everything, right? Absolutely. Tell me about how you got started. So we actually um, started this venture during the pandemic, which I know a lot of people would be like, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I was furloughed from my um, employment that I was working at before as a sales rep. So I was kind of looking for something to kind of go into that I knew the business would never die down. And so we kind of just went from there and did everything that we needed to do to open the studio. And we've been building for the last, um, it's been 11 months now. Why lashes when you decided to go into <clears throat> a new career? Um, because ever since I started getting lashes, it was something that I was like, okay, I can absolutely not ever be without them. And so I know that if I felt that way, I know that there's plenty of women out there that felt that way. And so it was just kind of a passion from there on. So obviously some people have had lashes for years. Some people have never done it in their life. So what is something that you tell a first time customer when they're coming in? You always want to pick your artist um, carefully. There's a lot of places out there where people are not licensed, where people are not certified. So you definitely want to do your research in who you're allowing to work on you prior to getting this service done. What do you need to look for in a lash artist when you start doing your research? I always do social media profile stalking. <laughs> <laughs> it's their portfolio. It tells you, it's like a resume for them. It right. tells you what kind of work they do, um, if it's a style that you're looking for. And then next, like I said, you want to ensure that they definitely have a license that is current and that they have certifications and that the establishment that you're going to has insurance. In the event that something does happen, you want to ensure that you're covered as a client in the event that you incur any injury or, or whatnot. The moment you decide to get lashes is when your research should start. You should not just walk in and be 100%. like, let's just see what happens here. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, this is something, you know, your eyelashes are important to your eyes itself. And so to kind of go into it blindly, uneducated is definitely not something that you want to do. What made makes Agape so different from other lash studios? We definitely pride ourselves on being more of a family rather than, you know, a business. When our clients come in, we like to greet them by name. Um, we like to make sure that they're comfortable here. And we just want to create that just very homely environment for them so that it keeps them wanting to come back. How long does the appointment take from start to finish? Um, so we usually book out two hours. It's all dependent upon how many natural lashes you have. Our artists do try to apply as many extensions to your natural lashes as possible. What type of lash styles are there? We keep talking about there's different styles. So for someone that doesn't know anything, I'd be like, just put lashes on me, you know? <laughs> yeah, so we go with the three most common styles that women are looking for, which are the classics, which is something more natural. It just kind of adds a little bit of length to your natural lash and not so much the volume or the density. Um, we have a hybrid, which is kind of a, in between a more full look and the classic, um, which is kind of what I have on now. And then we have the volume, which is kind of the more dramatic, like full Vegas style, or as we'd call it all the time. Vegas style. Okay, <laughs> I love it. How long would you say that these lashes last? Um, so for everyone, it's different. It's all dependent upon your natural hair growth cycle. Um, but for most clients, we have you come in every two to three weeks for a fill. Just okay. because, like I said, those lashes will start to grow out and you want to ensure that the ones that are grown out are getting removed so that they don't damage your natural lashes. So kind of the same way that you would go in for nails or anything like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, how is it that you're supposed to take care of your lashes? So we tell our clients not to use anything that's oil-based. If you use oil-based products, the integrity of the glue will be compromised, and so it can cause your lashes to fall out sooner. And washing them, washing them daily is key. There's so much like controversy on, I don't want to get them wet, I don't yeah. want to do all these things because they're going to fall out, and that's the complete opposite. So definitely washing them is key to like maintaining them and keeping the longevity of them. And how many um, lash experts? do you have that work for you? So right now we have three and we are building. We definitely are seeking out new artists that are definitely interested in finding somewhere a new home to lash out of. Um, we have copious amounts of clients that call daily and it's unfortunately not something that we can accommodate all the time and as much as we want to help everybody, our artists are you know completely booked sometimes so we're definitely seeking anybody that's interested in coming to join our studio here. I do love them. Oh my gosh, I love them. I really don't have to do my makeup ever again. I'm good to go. Woo! Yay! Yeah, good job. You did an amazing job. Yay!